Okay, so personal view. How did I get started with it? What's it like? Why were we here in the first place? And it all started with one of these. This is a GH2. My good friend Anthony, who um, is a member of Personal View, is the sort of person who looks, you know, looks more than he posts, which I guess is the same as me. I tend to read all your articles more than I tend to post to them. And it started with Vitaly's PT Tools and Nick Driswood's Patches. This one, I think, is running uh, Quantum V2. I had a quick look at the directories before I come out. And this was a cracking little camera because what it did is it gave us something much better than a camcorder could give us. And it gave us that ability to start creating narrative stories. Actually, narrative stories are really difficult because there's a whole bunch of things that you have to learn. And I'll probably do that in another video when I get into yak shaving and, and why we're always shaving yaks. But this thing taught us a lot. It taught us about running a camera in manual mode so you didn't have auto focusing going on, so you didn't have auto exposure going on. It taught us about setting the white balance. It taught us that some bet settings were better for dark than others and some settings you could grade. And then we learned about grading. We learned the fact that you could bend an image with the likes of Resolve or you could swing on it uh, on the color wheels and things in, in Final Cut Pro. And yeah, we learned about memory cards as well. We learned that you needed particularly fast memory cards. And then back in these days, and we're talking 2011, 2012 here, we learned about lens adapters or, or you know, adapters that could take these old lenses and put them onto this camera. So this is an F1.2 Canon FD lens. And it's just a, it's just a, I think it cost me 40 quid or something. And it's a thing of beauty. I mean, look at the size of the objective on that. And it allowed us to get that shallow depth of field, which means that you can lose things in the background draw attention to what you're you're doing you know to the to the person who's talking or to the to the narrative story and you can make something that looks way more beautiful than a camcorder and that and learning how to move cameras i think was a real major contribution and it was the thing that we talked about all the time in the personal view forums in fact i remember getting a manfrotto fig rig and i made this little adapter to go with it and what this little adapter does is it it goes into the it's got the four um rings here and it goes into the microphone port and it allows us to start recording run the autofocus and switch between uh internal and external sound um so that was a, a little item that we that we made up and talking about sound the thing that we learned from personal view is that sound is often more important than video because I go back and I'm reviewing some of that old footage that I've done and realizing that it's actually not bad. I mean, you look at it in HD, it's fine. It's not the same as the kind of 4K, crispy, clean, raw footage that we're getting today. But it does remind me about you know, the group of friends that I'm in that make films. We go to BVE every year and the GH2 and the things that we learnt at Personal View were the start of the narrowing of the gap between the super professional cameras and the cameras that we can afford. I mean, these days, um, I'm recording this on an Ursa Mini, not even an Ursa Mini Pro, and you can find yourself absolutely pixel peeping, going, what's the difference between this and an Alexa or this and a Red or what have you? And then you're seeing the prices of the Reds coming down and all the rest of it. But... I think sometimes it's important to go all the way back to the basics and remind ourselves about what a little camera like this taught us. So there you are, and there it was. A quick introduction to the beginning of my life with personal view. Thank you.